with all candidates for graduation who are transfer students from a Florida community college or Florida State College, please stand and be recognized. Thank you so much for choosing Florida m University. More than 1,200 students graduated during FAMU's spring commencement, which included 148 transfer students. We acknowledge them as part of our ongoing efforts to raise the visibility of FAMU's program for transfer students from Florida's community and state colleges. During three ceremonies, notable speakers wowed the grads with their messages of inspiration. And so I want to end by saying a heartfelt congratulations to every single one of our graduates. And I charge you the same way my grandmama used to charge me, bring it home, bring it home, bring it home. God bless you and good luck. I think about one of my hero's words, the great Muhammad Ali. He says service to others is the rent you pay for the room here on earth. Class of 2019, fam you, your rent is due. Thank you. When they ask me where are the people like you, I know where those people are. They're sitting in front of me right now. In Orlando, Congresswoman Val Demings was the speaker during the law school's 15th hooding ceremony. And the news is good for incoming students as we march towards our 2022 strategic goals. This time last year, the average GPA for incoming freshman students was 3.4. Today, for the class entering in fall 2019, the average GPA is 3.68. And the average SAT composite score and ACT scores are also trending up. The number of state colleges participating in FAMU's IGNITE transfer program is also up. In Tampa, Hillsborough Community College President Dr. Ken Atwater and other community leaders joined President Robinson to unveil a new partnership providing scholarships and other incentives for HCC students. The partnership marks FAMU's 15th articulation agreement with a Florida community or state college. I decided to go to FAMU because both of my older sisters went there and graduated. And they have a, an amazing college of education program and I knew that I was going to be a part of this great family that they have. FAMU students continue to make us proud. Students from the College of Agriculture and Food Sciences won top prizes at the 34th Annual Career Fair and Training Conference. It is organized by the National Society for Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Related Sciences. In Orlando, students in the School of Journalism and Graphic Communication won top awards at the Florida Associated Press Broadcasters Association 2018 Awards Ceremony. Industry professionals awarded students top honors in four of the 16 categories, including Best Digital Website Content and Best Hard News Feature Short Format. FAMU students won second place in the Florida League of Cities Mooney Mod Civic Tech Competition in Orlando, bringing home a $5,000 prize. The team's winning product matches local businesses with city-owned vacant property. In Torrance, California, President Robinson joined other university presidents and alumni to cheer on FAMU's team at the annual Honda Campus All-Star Challenge Tournament. Our team placed second and was awarded a $30,000 grant for FAMU. FAMU won Moguls in the Making, a Shark Tank-like business pitch competition. Students competed for an opportunity to receive funding for a business venture. The victorious students each were awarded a $5,000 scholarship, MacBook Air computers, and internships with Ally Financial. The National Science Foundation and FAMU education professor, Dr. Edith Davis, presented the Microspiral Method Workshop to a packed room of educators and students at FAMU. The methodology has been scientifically proven to help close the achievement gap in minority communities, particularly in math. College of Pharmacy Dean Dr. Johnny Early received the 2019 Distinguished Alumni Award from his alma mater, Mercer University, and received the Leadership Award from the American Society of Health Systems Pharmacists and the Association of African American Health Systems Pharmacists. Associate Professor Dr. Tiffany Packer and students from her class 
African American History to the 20th Century presented a panel discussion called New Age Lynching Police Brutality in Tallahassee to discuss the effects on communities of color. The FAMU Concert Choir, under the direction of Associate Professor Dr. Mark Butler, performed with the Tallahassee Symphony Orchestra and the Morehouse College Glee Club. The community event featured a musical composition titled Seven Last Words of the Unarmed, which features the last words of seven unarmed black men. It has been an exciting and busy quarter for facilities planning and construction. Construction on the university's new 700-bed facility is underway near Osceola Street and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. It is scheduled to be ready for occupancy by fall 2020. And residence halls adjacent to the set have been leveled and the land cleared to make way for a new SGA-funded amphitheater. Alumni and friends can memorialize the memories shared in Cropper, Diamond, McGuand, and Wheatley Halls by purchasing a commemorative brick through our Memory Lane Walkways project. The Florida State Legislature included a $24.8 million funding request in the state budget to complete FAMU's new Center for Access and Student Success Building. One, two, three. <laughs> And in Quincy, Florida, Dr. Robinson joined faculty, staff, and students to unveil a 4,000 square foot, $1 million addition to the university's College of Agriculture and Food Sciences Veterinary Technology Complex. Funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the expansion gives the faculty room to teach hands-on skills with live animals and much more. And we're really excited about progress on grants and partnerships. FAMU students can now study at the University of Haifa thanks to a Memorandum of Understanding signed when Dr. Robinson traveled to Israel in May with Governor Ron DeSantis and a delegation of state leaders. Just before the last star appeared on stage at the 2019 Jazz in the Gardens Music Festival, Miami Gardens Mayor Oliver Gilbert III presented FAMU with a $15,000 check to establish a scholarship fund in the name of festival photographer and rattler Adrian Freeman who passed away last November. FAMU's Medical Marijuana Education and Research Initiative awarded 14 grants totaling $98,000 to more than 20 faculty members. They will conduct research on marijuana and its impact on Florida's diverse minority communities. The team also held its inaugural community engagement forum in Leon County. More than 20 did, sessions, including forms, form, are scheduled statewide but in the coming have... months. First Lady Sharon Robinson hosted her second annual Women's History Month Sound the Alarm Health Event. It is designed to empower women to be champions of healthy living. The Meek Eton Black Archives Museum hosted a public reception to unveil the Willie L. Bryant exhibit and honor students benefiting from his $50,000 endowed scholarship. Bryant passed away in 2015 and was a civil rights leader who practiced dentistry for more than 30 years in New York. The FAMU FSU College of Engineering and Researchers and Engineers from Eglin Air Force Base celebrated the beginning of a new partnership. The Air Force Research Lab at Eglin is funding a $400,000 grant to create the Air Force Research Laboratory Scholars Program at the College of Engineering. And under the direction of Phyllis Watson, the Office of Continuing Education's summer camps are booming. The engineering and insect science camps and many others are all on track to be filled to capacity. Dr. Robinson joined alumni, students, and supporters at the annual FAMU Day at the Capitol. Their voices were instrumental in getting legislative support for the CAS building construction. Dr. Robinson was also featured in CEO Magazine, a source of information, inspiration, and motivation for the world's most successful leaders, investors, and entrepreneurs. During an all-faculty, all-staff meeting, the president updated stakeholders on the state of the university. He rounded out the quarter by attending alumni fundraisers and gatherings in Dallas, Fort Worth, Atlanta, and Tampa. 
The president also provided a progress report on the university's strategic plan during the National Alumni Association Convention in Birmingham, where alum raised more than $450,000 for scholarships. During a gala, the NAA honored 16 alumni for their outstanding service and distinguished careers. Back in Tallahassee, Dr. Robinson received the Florida Black Caucus Exemplary Leadership Award. Jake Gaitherhouse honored the president with the Leading by Example Award for being an example of a trailblazer and supporter of the community. Dominic Artis, founder and CEO of the ACT House, was selected to attend the Global Entrepreneurship Congress in Bahrain. Artis represented FAMU as the entrepreneur in residence in the Office of Research at FAMU. Congratulations to our own trustee Thomas Dorch Jr., who is being honored for his work advancing the cause of justice and equality. His footprints will join other notables, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the International Civil Rights Walk of Fame in Atlanta. Bam, you have the distinction of being showcased along with former members of the Marching 100 Band in Homecoming, a film by Beyonce, which was just released on Netflix. The film includes highlights of the 2017 FAMU Homecoming, performances by former band members, and creative input by FAMU alum Don P. Roberts, founder of Drumline, the traveling live show.